So I'm sure that you guys may have heard the news, and if you haven't, uh, I'll just kind of fill you in here in this video. Um, America Online, or AOL, is going to be being bought by Verizon, the phone company, for $4.4 billion. And this is uh, a very large transaction that's going to be happening over the course of this summer. And yeah, this is going to I mean, not really change that much about AOL. They're going to kind of be the same company. They're just going to be being overseen by Verizon from now on. Um, but this is a very, you know, big thing. And a lot of people have, have been wondering, well, why would Verizon buy AOL? You know, uh, not many, I mean, people kind of think not many people use AOL um, in, you know, today's terms because, I mean, AOL has offered dial-up in the past. That's kind of what they were known for. So why would Verizon want to buy AOL? Were there actually more than just offering dial-up? They're actually uh, a very large advertising company. They do uh, like a lot of media stuff. So they're more than just uh, doing dial-up, which they still do dial-up today, uh, which we're going to get into later. But uh, this video is going to be about seeing if we can still get dial-up working um, in 2015 with AOL. And if this is going to still work after um, the whole large Verizon transaction. Um, and this is going to be very similar to the Windows 10 on a Pentium 4 video where it's going to be kind of, uh, you know, a bit off the wall, something, you know, completely random that I don't normally do. Uh, but I figured why not because this is the perfect time to do it because Verizon is going to be buying AOL for this very large sum of money. Um, so, yeah, but before we do that, I just want to show you guys um, a few facts about AOL and that there, there are actually still people using dial-up today. Uh, there's actually 2 million people, 2 million Americans that still use AOL's dial-up internet, which is, you know, a pretty large amount of people. I mean, a lot of people, when they think of AOL, they think of it as like an old technology that hasn't really, you know, been around for a long time, but there's still places in the United States that don't have broadband, that don't have, you know, AT&T Uverse or Verizon Fios or Comcast Xfinity or, you know, things like that. Um, there's not that many of those places, but there are places like that. Um, and there's 2 million people out there, at least as of... Let's see, when was this article published? Let's see if it will... When was this article published? I don't even know. Um, it was actually published May 13th of this year. So, yeah. So, as of May 13th of this year, 2 million people still use dial-up with AOL. And that's just with AOL. You know, there's other dial-up uh, internet companies out there like NetZero um, and a few others that I can't really think of. But there's more j than just AOL. But I think most people have heard of AOL because of its big, like, because, you know, they were pretty big in uh, the late 1990s, mid to late 90s. Um, and that's kind of where they got most of their, I guess, user base from. Uh, and if we go down here, there's actually uh, this chart here. That shows you uh, how many you know users of dial-up that they've had since uh, 1999 to 2014. You'll see that uh, in 2002, which is a year after Windows XP came out, was the most amount of users. Um, and in 2014, there's only two million, but you know compared to like you know over 25 million, probably about 27 million from this chart here. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot, you know, there's definitely a, like a, a lot of people out there that are still using dial-up. So how much would it cost per month to go out right now in 2015 and get an AOL dial-up subscription? Um, well, after going uh, to AOL's website, it's actually going to cost $14.95 a month. So each month, if you wanted to get AOL dial-up, you know, like the same dial-up from the 1990s, I don't think much has changed about it. Uh, it's going to cost $14.95 a month. Now, you are getting a few more things. Um, besides dial-up, they're going to give you uh, up to 15 gigs of storage and 54 by 6 prints per year with photo bucket. Um, they're going to allow you to, uh, to encrypt everything that you send and receive on your mobile devices over public Wi-Fi networks. Um, I'm guessing they use uh, like another service for that. They're going to allow you... Um, to use uh, assist by AOL to basically get uh, like a free tech support for or a free tech support su subscription for a year. 
They're going to uh, allow you to store all your online passwords. They're going to allow you to, let's see, prepare an update of wills, living wills, and power of attorney through a, a, a network of experienced attorneys. Uh, distinguish your, your, or disguise your keystrokes so hackers can't see the uh, sensitive information. Safeguard your personal information with LifeLock. Make yourself, make yourself invisible to hackers on public Wi-Fi networks. Save money with AARP. Securely browse your internet and store cloud-based data on your on your mobile device with data mass. So yeah, a lot of things that they're giving you, uh, even uh, a Sprint 10% discount on select monthly service plans. Yeah, they're they're giving you a lot of things, and they, they say it's just 14.95 a month. You know, for some people this might be worth it. Um, again, if you didn't have broadband, that is. I mean, they are giving you a lot because again. This is all going over a phone line. They kind of have to give you this because phone lines are probably one of the, the easiest things for people to like tap into and view all your all your traffic. I mean, they, you I mean you could probably still you know clip a phone line and view all the traffic, all the packets being sent through it. Um, so they have to do all this stuff. That like they have to make sure that you're that you're gonna be secure going over dial up. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be fourteen ninety five a month. Um, and yeah, you can try it free, and there's a star, let me see what that says, to avoid being charged, simply cancel online, okay, so, um, yeah, so this is what we're going to be doing, is trying it free, um, hoping that it won't ask me to enter in any credit card number, that is, um, so yeah, $14.95 per month, now if we go to AT&T, for example, AT&T, you're going to pay $29.95 per month for U-verse high-speed internet, for three megs per second, which is substantially faster than dial-up, uh, it's still pretty slow in today's terms, but it's faster than dial-up. Again, but if you didn't have this, like if you did not, like if you live in in an area in the United States that didn't have you know broadband internet, which there are you know a few places I mentioned before, um, yeah, you would save a bit of money, and yeah, and well, yeah, and you would also get all this right here also. But yeah, is like if you want to go get dial-up, is AOL the best choice? Well, um, not necessarily true. I mean, there are companies like Net Zero out there that offer high-speed accelerated dial-up for eighteen ninety-five a month. Um, but they also have these uh, like three different classes. So like, uh, if you want to get platinum dial-up, it's gonna be thirteen ninety-five, or you can get free dial-up, and they do limit you to ten hours a month. But it's still something like if you absolutely had to get online to do something, um, like you know, check your. I mean, you probably shouldn't check your bank accounts over dial up. But like if you had to send in like a an important email or or, or something like that, uh, you could do it over this free tier of dial up. And I've actually used this before, um, not for an extended period of time, but I've used it uh, in, like in some demos before. Um, and it's work. It is really slow, like dial-up is. I, I think they even limit you like below uh, the f 56 kilobits per second dial-up speed. But um, you know, it is something. But again, most people use AOL, and AOL is probably one of the most respected brands out there. So uh, there is that. But. So yeah, that is basically um, you know a big synopsis on AOL and their stance today, even being bought out by Verizon. And now what I want to do is set up uh, an old computer, the same one from the Pentium Four video, um, from the you know it's that uh, Dell Dimension eighty four hundred I think that is um, running Windows Seven, but it's from the uh, XP era of you know uh, of computing. And we're going to. Uh, download AOL, see if we can get it working. I might have to sign up for an account. I might not, but we're just going to see what we can do with it. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. All right, so it's been about a week since you guys uh, have seen the last part of the video. Of course, you know, in the actual video time, you know, it was obviously nothing has passed. But um, it's finally time to see if we can actually get this thing to work. So a few things have changed since I uh, last proposed that we, we are going to be using that Dell Dimension 8400 system. Um, we're actually not going to be using that and the reason for that is because it does not have a modem on the back of it, which I actually figured out after that I said that whole thing. So we're not going to be using uh, a Windows based machine at all. We're actually going to be using a Mac to do this. Um, and I was uh, originally going to use um, a Power Mac G3 that I have. Um, and come to find out that it does have a modem, but it does not support the latest version of, of uh, AOL. 
because it's running uh, Mac OS X server version, uh, I think 10.2, which is Jaguar. So, um, yeah, that's not going to work. So then I said, okay, we'll go with uh, the, like, I, I have this other Power Mac G4 laying around. And I said, okay, let's just use that. And for some reason, it did not want to, like, for some reason, the modem wasn't working. It was being kind of odd. So um, I kind of just uh, scrapped all that. And we're going to be trying to do this with... Uh, the iBook G4, which I made uh, a, a video on in the past, if you guys saw that, um, it was a, a quick little unboxing video, and then I did you know, like a first look kind of thing, where I booted it up and you know things like that. So that's what we're going to be using to see if we, if we can get this to work. Now I have not tested this, um, just like in uh, that Pentium 4 video, I, I haven't tested any of this, so I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So here we are on the iBook G4. Uh, now I'm going to have to, you know, kind of apologize as I don't really have uh, a, you know, capture card uh, or a, a screen capture software for this, so I'm not really going to be able to get uh, a better camera angle than what we have here. But basically, uh, what I've done is uh, I have downloaded the latest version of AOL that can run on this. Which, which is actually uh, surprisingly the uh, most recent version of uh, America Online. It will actually run on uh, the iBook G4, which is kind of amazing. So uh, what I've done is I've put that onto a one gigabyte uh, USB drive, and I'm going to plug that into the uh, computer here. And and so uh, once that mounts successfully, as you're going to see here, I'm going to basically open that up. I'm going to uh, install the program, which doesn't, it actually doesn't really take that long. It's not the largest program in the world, so uh, I just basically, you know, copy it over from uh, the USB drive, and then I just uh, uh, mount the uh, uh, DMG file, and then I run uh, the PKG installer, which is basically like any other Mac OS X application that you're going to, you know, install. It's... Okay, so yeah, th this is actually uh, AOL Desktop for Mac 1.7, which is, I mean, I thought that they were going to have like more than, you know, like they would have more than just one release or like one major release of the software, but apparently they, they don't. They only have like one major release. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, I kind of had uh, some problems now. Basically, what I've, what I've done is I've uh, I disabled all forms of like uh, wireless communication so that's why you just saw here uh, that it kind of interrupted uh, some network stuff that I was doing in the background for my host computer so I don't have you know any ethernet cable or you know any like Wi-Fi stuff plugged in uh, and yeah as, as you can see here it only takes up uh, 13 or not 13 33 megabytes of 33.9 megabytes of hard drive space um, and you can see here, I, uh, for some reason, typed in my password wrong like five times. It got kind of, kind of pretty funny. Uh, it like actually, like, okay, it actually locked me out of the computer at like one point. And I had to like, uh, like reset the whole thing because I don't know what I was, yeah, see right here, I like, I, I had to restart the whole thing because apparently I, I, I had typed it in too wrong. So I had to make sure I was typing the password right. And then I got in. So it, uh, so here it is, um, Install an AOL desktop. It's you know pretty fast. This is uh, not sped up or anything uh, This is uh, just you know like the live footage and it goes pretty fast uh, the install finishes up here and Then basically what I have to do is just uh, open the program So yeah, once we do that it, it the the first thing that it prompts you to do is it wants you to sign in uh, using a username and a password which I don't have so I, I said I wanted to sign in uh, with a guest account and which it actually didn't let me do at this at, at this point in the video um, and what it actually ha I had to do was it had to set up uh, the AOL global access numbers um, so and basically what uh, these numbers are essentially is how when you uh, dial up into AOL your computer's modem dials up into uh, a designated phone number that AOL provides you with, and it's, it's usually more than one number. Like uh, in, in case one fails, or if one is like offline, it'll give you more than one number. Usually with like more than one area code. Like see, uh, for the area code I was in, it gave me like two uh, for that specific area code, and then like 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 three other ones for uh, a different area code that was near me, and 
you know, more like that. So it basically gives you just more than one. So like in case one is offline, you still have a, a way to get into AOL. Um, so to get this list uh, of all these numbers, it has to dial up into AOL and download the GAN database or the global access number database. So uh, I had to choose, um, you know, which modem I had, uh, which modem script that I had, and then it just basically dials into the global access number server. So um, at this point, I'm going to actually play uh, the actual audio that came uh, from this raw recording, and you're, you're going to hear uh, the actual, you know, sound of it dialing in, which I'm sure if you've used AOL or like any other dial-up stuff for any period of time, you'll, you'll, you'll know instantly what it sounds like. Uh, so I'm just gonna uh, kind of let that play here. So there you go. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's the sound it's making. It's doing a lot of stuff. Just to show you, I do have the phone here. It does say uh, line and use. So it is actually. Yeah, I'm sure you guys won't be able to hear the sound that well because I'm using like a whole separate microphone. So, uh, but it did seem to dial successfully, and it's uh, negotiating a link. It's authenticating, negotiating network, and once it does that, it starts uh, downloading. Or after it um, kind of uh, talks to the network for a bit, uh, it, it starts basically downloading. Uh, through dial-up so there's kind of proof right here that you know it, it, it does still work um, I mean obviously it does for those you know the two million users but um, so yeah I mean this uh, uh, still works at the, at this point but you know obviously we're gonna see later if we can actually get online using this so um, now for some reason my, my camera always goes out like out of focus like this so uh, sorry at this point you know, it, it, it kind of gets blurry so uh, I'm just gonna kind of hope it focuses in. I think I, I did some things with the camera and it and it, and it focused back, but um, so we'll see what it does here. And it does take a long time to download. I mean, this is probably not the biggest file in the world. It's just like a text file, probably with all of the, or maybe like a database file with all the uh, global access numbers. Um, so yeah, not the largest thing in the world. It does take a long time to download, uh, at least you know over AOL. And now what it asks you to do is to set uh, the home name of where that you uh, are dialing up from. So uh, the default name is home. You know you can change it like if you're at home or if you're at work. So if you have like like uh, like more than one uh, area code, like if you're uh, home and your work are in like two different places. Uh, you can, you know, kind of set that. So at this point, it asked me to put in uh, my, you know, area code here, which I obviously blur out at this point, and asked you to put, uh, you know, which country that you're in. So um, obviously, we are in the uh, United States here. And so once you put in uh, your area code, it, it actually will give you a list of all the access numbers uh, and the uh, location of where they uh, are, are like are kind of based in. So I, what I kind of did here is I just uh, picked like I think four or five of them, and then uh, once I do that, it asks me if I want to uh, set up any of these options. Now, f uh, for some phone lines, like for some businesses, uh, they have it set to you have to dial nine to reach uh, an outside line. So you can set that up here. It also um, will allow you uh, to disable call waiting. Or you can change um, like a, a few other card prefixes and, and you know suffixes and things like that, and it tells you what uh, a sample dialing string would look like, which is just uh, like a basic phone number here. So I mean, obviously, like for uh, a residential phone line, I don't I don't think many of these options uh, really matter at this point. So I I, I just kind of just uh, ignored them, and so it gives you here a list of all uh, of your access numbers. And so I just uh, I click on OK, and so now it's going to ask you to sign in using a username and a, and a uh, password, which I actually never ended up, um, you know, creating one. What I actually just did is I, I clicked on this button or this uh, link here that says uh, create username, and what it does at this point is uh, it starts to dial up again uh, into the AOL servers, and it will, after a long time, begin to load up the page. 
um, for you to, which is the exact same page that is on, if you go to, I think it's like signup.aol.com, if you go there, you can, like, it, it, it's literally the exact same page, and you can choose, uh, you know, which plan that you want of dial-up, which at this point I figured out that there's not, that you, 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 don't, you don't have to pay, uh, I think it was like $17 a month, they do have, uh, like a, a free tier, just like Net Zero does, and it asks you, well, hey, do you want to uh, make a username, and I, I didn't do any of that, because, you know, at, at this point, obviously, we can, uh, you know, conclude that it does work, so yeah, you can see here uh, that it is dialing, so again, what I'm probably going to do is just, uh, you know, kind of cut this audio portion here, I'm going to take uh, the raw audio, kind of edit it in, and we can hear that sound again if you guys wanted to do that. So uh, I'm just going to uh, let that play right now. And it kind of does the same things after that. It starts uh, authenticating, talking to the network, and then it starts loading uh, a page over HTTPS. So it's actually using HTTPS to do all this. So it's obviously going to take a, a, a bit longer. It, it's it's uh, going to get.aol.com. So I guess it wasn't sign up. It's just get that, get.aol.com. And you can see here it gives me uh, like this error message. It actually uh, failed at this point, and I had to redial in. And then once I did that, um, then it came up with the page that you see here where it says, okay, which plan do you want? So they actually have one plan that costs $25 a month, which is a lot. I mean, that's like paying for, you know, like probably internet and TV. I think AT&T or, or, or like Verizon has a plan like that. So Obviously, they got all these different tiers of plans that have different things. The one that we looked at uh, in the previous segment was the fourteen ninety five a month plan, which is uh, AOL Advantage Premium. So uh, these are, I think, they have like four tiers here. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, you can still sign up for these plans if you wanted to. So, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, you know four different tiers of plans. Uh, we have um, AOL uh, Advantage Premium. Uh, AOL Total Advantage, AOL Advantage Plus, which is uh, eleven ninety nine, and then free AOL, which is actually it gives you free unlimited use of AOL, which is actually better uh, than Net Zero because uh, obviously Net Zero limits you ten hours a month, um, which is actually pretty surprising. I'm honestly pretty surprised that, that they do that. I'm sure there's some limitations in there as to why. Um, I mean, as to why they would just not give it to you for free, but uh, yeah, that is uh, you know pretty cool. And what I did is I just um, I, I clicked on free AOL, get it now. And once I did this, it starts loading uh, the AOL sign-in page, where it's going to basically ask you to sign up for an account, which, as I mentioned, is the exact same page as you go um, on the AOL website. So, which I'm just going to load up here. Once it finishes loading. Oh yeah, and okay, so by the way, here are all of the features you get when you sign up for the free AOL. Uh, they give you 13 gigabytes uh, of photo bucket. You get AOL Mail, Assist by AOL, so the same uh, thing that, that you get in the uh, like premium plan. You get the uh, all-in-one desktop software, AOL, AOL Instant Messenger or uh, AIM. The My Benefits toolbar, mobile, which I don't even know, like they, I guess they have a mobile app. AOL on, which I'm guessing is something to do with like I'm, I'm honestly not sure what that is. Uh, AOL radio, games.com, maps or map quest, discover AOL jobs, daily finance, AOL travel, GPS for the soul, movie phone, AOL reader, and kitchen daily. So yeah, for free for free use of of uh, AOL. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff, which is actually pretty surprising. So, uh, might have to take back what I said about AOL not being the best um, AOL or 
or not AOL, you know, the best dial-up provider out there. Is there, you know, I, I guess this depends honestly on, on on who you want to go with. If you like Net Zero or you like, you know, uh, AOL or you know, whoever else is like still around. But um, so yeah, once this page loads after like, and I, th- I think honestly it was like ten minutes of me sitting here at the computer waiting. Um, and once it does that, it just brings up the page that is the exact same one on AOL.com where it asks you to, uh, you know, put your name, uh, choose your uh, username at AOL.com, all that stuff. And at this point, we can pretty much conclude that it still works. Um, it looks like they're going to be still be offering the service, at least at this point. Uh, this was done as of May 24th, 2015, which is uh, still a bit before this whole, uh, like, Verizon takeover thing is still going to happen. So, um... Yeah, so I guess that is pretty much um, going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys uh, have any feedback or anything like that, be sure to let me know uh, down in the comments. Again, uh, just like that Pentium 4 video, this was you know kind of one of those off-the-wall videos, which I kind of want to get into doing more of those things as um, th- these seem like you know pretty fun videos to make. Uh, I do have uh, you know a few other great ideas. I'm going to probably be um, uh, continuing the Microsoft Entertainment Pack time travel mini-series. Uh, here in the next few days, uh, so be looking out for that, um, and yeah guys, that's pretty much all that I have to say, I just want to uh, thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you in the next video.